Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do lesson 8.3, part 3 of 6th grade math today. And we got 29 points here on your class worksheet. Have those out in front of you now, students, and put your name, date, period on your class worksheet. And you have two points on your notebook guide or your notebook, have that ready to go. Due date here for onlineers and homeschoolers. And let's go right in to our next example here for percents. Example two, the school principal spent $2,000 to buy some new computer equipment. Of this money, $120 was used to buy some new keyboards. What percent of the money was spent on keyboards? So to go back to that problem again, write a proportion comparing the percent to the ratio of part to the whole. So we're going to use a proportion this time to solve this percentage problem. What percent? So the part again and the whole again was 120 over 2000. So we have $120 out of 2000. So what percentage was 120 out of 2000? So a part is in our numerator. And then the whole is in our denominator. So to solve this proportion here. Okay, so we're going to go into step three here on solving this percentage problem. Find a multiplication factor. So to find a multiplication factor here, blank over 100 equals 120 over 2000. So how would we solve this proportion here? So what times 100 would equal 2,000? That would be the first question. Since 100 times blank equals 2,000, what times 100 will equal 2,000? Find what the number times blank will equal 120. So what times 100 will equal 2,000? So for step four, to find a numerator, 100 times 20 will equal 2,000. So 100 times 20 equals 2,000. So blank times 20 has to equal 120. So what times what times 20 equals 120 is the question. So the question for that is 6 over 100 will equal 120 over 2,000 since 20 times 6, 6 times 20 will equal 120. The percent would be 6 over 100 or 6%. So 120 is 6% of 2,000. The principal spent 6% of the money on keyboard. Finding a whole given a part and a percent. You can use proportional reasoning, that's what we've been doing here, proportional reasoning, to solve problems in which you know a part and a percent and need to find the whole. So to find that, we're going to go into example three. Twelve of the students in the school choir like to sing solos. These 12 students make up 24% of the choir. How many students are in the choir? So step one, you, since you want to know the total number of students in the choir, in this choir up here, compare the blank to the blank. So what are these two blanks? So the part is 12. We, we know the part of this choir is 12. 12 students make up 24 percent. So 12 of something is what? 12 percent is, it, rather 12 students make up 24 percent of the choir. So 12 of something equals 24 percent. So compare the part, here's our part, which is 12, to the whole, which is, we don't know. We're trying to find the whole. So to find the whole, 
we go into step two here. We'll write a proportion comparing the percent to the ratio of part to whole. So part again in this case is 12 over blank equals 24 over 100. We know 12 is 24 percent of something. So 24 percent is the same thing as 24 over 100. Here is our proportion right here students that we, we need to solve this question. So the part over the whole. 12 over what equals 24 over 100? So 12 of what number equals 24 over 100, which is the whole, 24 over 100. This number here would be our whole choir number. So you know that 12 students represent 24%. 12 students equals 24%. So we need to find a blank to find the whole amount of the choir. 12 over blank equals 24 over 100. So 12 times what equals 24 is the question. And then blank times what equals 100. So 12 times what equals 24. 12 times 2 equals 24. So how many times does 2 go into 100 is the question. 12 times blank equals 24. Find what number times 2 equals 100. So 12 times what? Find the denominator. 12 over blank equals 24 over 100. Since blank times 2 equals 100, the denominator is blank and blank, students. What are they, students? 50 times 2, 50 times 2, the de denominator is 50. So there are 50 students in the choir. 12 out of 50 equals 24 out of 100. So 12 students of 50 equals 24% of 50. And that is your 8.3 part 3, 6th grade math. Anime PowerPoint math video at ALO.com for questions or course materials. Thank you very much.